Okay guys, welcome back um, to the second installment of this uh, 30 minutes to be a better guitar player um, training course, training course, my coaching course. I, I don't like to call them courses because courses make you feel like you have to do some wor work uh, uh, as school work, whereas this should be just a uh, good, good old fashioned muscle exercise um, as you might have learned. The first part, first, um, first part we did the um, up and down the neck. Uh, exercise which should get your fingers nicely moving and you know warmed up uh, now we're going to work on the second section and this is this is going to be easier to probably teach you guys and uh, quicker but it's as vital as anything so let me talk about it a little bit um, too often us guitar players we concentrate on the solos uh, solos are wonderful but they are still very very small part of playing and the, the, the biggest part of your playing is going to be rhythm Playing. Genuinely, probably about eighty percent of you playing at least when you play um, in real life situation. So why aren't we spending eighty percent of our practice time practicing the rhythm? Uh, obviously, you can say that you can s say that the uh, the lead playing probably requires a little bit more practice because it's more difficult. I tend to disagree because I think a lot of people underestimate how how much work you have to put in to be a really really good rhythm player um, so I, I would still advocate um, um, that 80-20 rule on this one I think you should put a lot more effort on the rhythm playing than you should put on the solo playing solo playing uh, you want to be a good solo player great but then practice a damn a lot more of the rhythm playing as well so today's exercise as I mentioned before um, metronome and we're gonna again start slow. Let's start with a good, good old fashioned up and down rhythm. Sounds easy, doesn't it? Here's a couple of things I want to you to concentrate on. I want to concentrate to you that this hand is relaxed enough. This is not, you're not using your whole arm, you're using simple, relaxed wrist. Think of it like, think of it like, a, you know, you're trying to. Just, you know, you shake your wrist like that, like, and there's, there's kind of loose movement, your whole arm is kind of relaxed. That's what it is. There's no crazy, you know, you're know, you not tensed and move your arm and, you know, that's how I get injuries, you know. Just really relaxed. I work with a lot of, I play with a lot of banjo players and I know a lot of banjo players and they they end up having a lot of problems with these arms and um, guitar players can be as bad and it's to do, do mainly with the fact that you gotta keep that wrist relaxed you know if you don't keep that wrist relaxed you're gonna be in trouble somewhere along the way you know so good on up up and down rhythm now this sounds very very simple doesn't it What I want you to do, I want you to set up the timer on your phone and I want you to do this up and down rhythm for five minutes non stop. Sounds silly? It's not. Most songs these days are realistically somewhere between three and five minutes. You have to be able to do this rhythm for five minutes. And the reason I don't want you to play any chords, I want you to just concentrate on how that hand feels. I want you to concentrate on the, the wrist being really relaxed, the up and down strokes being as even as possible. Obviously there will be a little bit more uh, 
emphasis on the uh, on the actual beat and on the downstroke. That's natural. Uh, that's part of the playing. But I still want you to kind of concentrate on that rhythm. And I want you to do this for five minutes non-stop. And I'm serious about that because that is where you build that, you know, the muscles, uh, the awareness of your hand that it, it, it is relaxed and it's not too tense. As I said, if it gets too tense, go back to that idea of shaking your hand. That's all it is. Uh, you're not squeezing your pick too hard. It's just enough to keep it there, steady, firm. And I want you to go for five minutes. That's, and you know, within time you will get better and you will go faster. Uh, and trust me, when you go, you go faster, it gets harder, you know. Do that for five minutes. You will start to feel tension in your hand, whether you like it or not. Those of you who are kind of into your Irish music, jig time. And yes, it is down, up, down, down, up, down. It's not up, down, up, down. I think playing a lot of the traditional Irish music, backing rhythms, have taught me a lot about the keeping your hand and wrist really relaxed. And that's, I mean, I've been playing music full time in that scene, uh, which is pretty hardcore for you as a player. And I've been doing that for 20 years now. So. Gotta keep your hand relaxed, otherwise you will later on create problems with your arms. So there you go. That's that's the thing. But whatever the rhythm is that you're gonna go for, stick to that um, in one day. So you do just that one rhythm for five minutes. Um, and as I said, as part of this 30, 30 minutes uh, a day practice exercise, if you can commit to the, do that thirty minutes a day seven days a week for six months I guarantee you your arm is gonna be a completely different machine uh, when it comes to playing the rhythm part of the instrument I think it's very very vital the reason I wanted to put it as a second part of it is because as I said the importance of rhythm uh, you, you need to concentrate on that keeping the rhythm uh, and strong and uh, the first exercise uh, was to get your fingers moving first this one is to keep you in time so those are the first two exercises and um, thanks for watching so far tune in for the next episode which will move on then to the next exercise uh, the uh, the third five minute section of your uh, of, of your 30 minutes to a better guitar player um, and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you get a notification when that lesson comes out or any future um, videos I put out which I put out pretty much every day um, Thanks for watching and let me know in the comments what you think of the exercise. Uh, have you been doing that exercise? Have you found it useful? And uh, yeah, talk to you guys in the next lesson.